fun to look, but sometimes it's even more fun to touch. Time to go give those Pinterest boards some legs. Inspiration can come from anywhere. Whether it's a lady outside shouting up the street in a black shift dress, or from a conversation with a friend. It can come from a combination of colors lying open on a table. But trends, much like mercury, is shiny, bright, and if you look closely, you can see yourself in it. And it constantly moves and shapes itself to what we want it to be. So in this episode, we're gonna deep dive into 2019 and what's hot, what's not, and ready to rumble. We're basically gonna to touch base on four major design trends this season. First and foremost has to be color, obviously. Secondary has to be biophilia. Third, Memphis style, and fourth, florals. So for more exclusive content like this, please subscribe to the channel below, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a beat, and then if you scroll down, you'll see HF in a circle. Please join. HF in a circle is basically a group of like-minded people that are passionate about fabrics the same way we are, where you have access to exclusive content first. So without further ado, let's get into it. So when we talk trends, I think the biggest thing to discuss is color. Not that we really had color for the last 10 years because we've been living like tributes in this dull dystopian world of the Hunger Games, desperate for some color, waiting for someone to liberate us. So now I can confidently liberate you by saying cool gray is dead and gone and out the door and warm gray is cool. So warm gray, all the way from the liberating shade of beige, which has been as desperate as sure on Mamma Mia 2 to make a comeback, all the way up to griffin gray, is where we're working in right now in terms of neutrals. So that's your real foundation in terms of putting things together. So a color that we've seen a lot of in the last 10 years, and that has been in everything from pop culture to cell phones, has to be millennial pink. So, Millennial Pink, different shades of it, and now recently Pantone, for the third time in 10 years, named a shade of pink as the color of the year, with Living Coral being 2019's color. Coral is technically a shade of pink, if we're being honest with ourselves. Another color that's rapidly on the rise and is very generation-driven has to be Gen Z Yellow. Gen Z Yellow is basically a liquid shade of yellow. It can go anywhere from a lemony yellow all the way through to an ochre mustard. Even though it hasn't been named as a color for the year, I do believe that it's a hot and trending color and a color not to be forgotten about. It's a bright, bold, vivacious, energetic color that's basically being sported by the Royals every half opportunity that they get. And towards late last year, the inquiries on mustard that's been coming through has been tantamount. I mean, it's been crazy. So another major trend that we're seeing a lot of is the biophilic trend. So biophilia is basically an obsession with nature. And I think with all this environmentalist things being bombarded on us left, right and centre, man wants to return to nature. And I think we're seeing a lot of that in our homes and drawing a lot of inspiration from that. And I am currently obsessed with this new collaboration between two powerhouses, Arte wall coverings and Marcel Wanders for Moy. Right in front of you is probably the most beautiful love child I've ever laid my eyes on. Be sure to check it out in the showroom near you. Another trend to watch out for has to be the animal print trend. Animal print has come a long way and you can be honest with yourself, there is a little bit of Fran Dretcher in all of us. Animal print has a place in every home and it is my favourite colour after all. <sighs> 
A great collection to look out for in terms of a natural stone finish has to be the Terrazzo wallpaper from Designers Guild. It's less permanent than real Terrazzo and it's an absolutely exquisite design. Another super duper exciting design has to be the Lazarus design from FR1. It's a beautiful jacquard of Carrara marble, perfect for upholstery weight and quite interesting to see made up. So yeah, that is FR1's Lazarus, absolutely exquisite upholstery weight and it's local because local is lacquer. So onto something a little bit brighter and happier and cheerier has to be floral. Floral has come a long way and a house that's kind of synonymous with floral, Designers Guild, recently collaborated with the powerhouse that is Tom Dixon on probably one of the most spectacular sofas I've ever seen in my life. So just do yourself a favor and look at this sofa that is completely covered in a floral. Speaking of sofas and couches, I think we should jump on the couch quickly and have a conversation about probably the strongest trend right now after Biophilia, which is the Memphis design trend. <sighs> is that coffee? Hmm. So, Memphis style. Think Robert Palmer's video for Simply Irresistible and those backup dancers, those girls doing this shoo up shoo up sort of vibe. With the color blocking, the bright red lips, and demanding attention. And that's exactly what this design style is about. It's about demanding attention, standing up against everything gray, stark, and boring, and celebrating bold, saturated color. Also, think bold, art deco y sort of shapes in bright, crazy, highlighter yellow and highlighter pink and saturated red and primary color schemes and neon color schemes on a white base with a black and white stripe. And there you've basically got star designer Kelly Weasler's look encapsulated. And that's really what this design style is. So the whole point of this design style is that there were never rules. It's about breaking the rules, about color, about sharp lines, about rounded shapes, about going up against everything that society says you shouldn't. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So if you think about designers like Kelly Riesler, who's like one of the hottest designers globally, she confidently designs in this style all the time and she pulls off some of the best looks using this style. And I feel that the New Zimmer and Rhoda Wonderland connection encapsulates the look perfectly with the squiggles and with the neon colors and the dark white backgrounds and the black for accents. So it seems like 2019 is quite an exciting year for design after all. I mean, with all this Memphis style stuff and all this biophilia stuff and all this texture and all this color, I'm super duper excited. Please do yourself a favor and have a look at the collections that we discussed today on our Pinterest board. They're all uploaded on there for your convenience so you can shop the trend. And please also just comment below. I'd love to hear back from you. So, I hope you're as excited as I am about 2019 and what it has in store for us. You know, this biophilia stuff, this Memphis style stuff, all these great colors that are coming through. Yeah, I'm super duper excited. So if you're as excited as I am, please scroll down, have a look at HF Inner Circle, subscribe, be part of the group of cool kids that's inspired, sharing content. Anyway, without further ado, I've got some scheming to do. So, okay, bye.